Hi, Sandy here. I'm going to do a glue book flip through. Um, I've been doing glue books for three or four years now. This is my 19th glue book that I have made. They're kind of like a magazine and I s stitch up the pages and make them into a book. These are eight, eight and a half by eleven sheets. I have a whole stack of these. They're kind of like magazines. Um, and I use um, just white duct tape on the side and write the name of the book. This is Randomness 2. Um, I did a Randomness 1 previously. Um, I think I have all of my glue books um, on my YouTube page somewhere. Um, maybe you can find it. Um, so let's get started. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper. This is a page from a calendar. Um, I like to keep the front and back smooth because I slide them onto a bookshelf and, and it rubs. I used to not put a cover on them and then I'd have these glued, glued up pages as the covers and the backs and they'd rub and start coming loose so I, I put covers on them and, and I, like, I keep them smooth. Okay so um, my daughter and I went out in the garage <laughs> a couple of times and and we've got um, watercolors and we we just splatter some computer paper and get it all splattered up. You see the splatters with the watercolor. And I have a stack of those and I like to use those for the backgrounds. Of course not always but sometimes. Uh, this is a calendar page and I cut that out. Cute dogs in the back of a truck. And then this is a lady and I just put her like she's sitting on the truck. And then this is says Emporium. It's like an antique store I think so it's like she drove her old truck into town to go to the Emporium and then I just added some random things a little strip of scrapbook paper and then I got Einstein you know I he just looked like an interesting thing when I saw him in a magazine so I cut out his picture he's got a quite a bit a bit of a green tinge to him so this is the other side of that scrap that watercolor paper uh, this is out of probably Birds and Blooms. They have a lot of um, bu butterflies in there too sometimes. And just random stuff. I've had this for a long time. Uh, a pink with Albert Einstein. Just random mix and match stuff. And I work in a warehouse. I, I'm the janitor. I don't <laughs> drive the forklift or anything. But these are some stickers for the trucking companies and I just put those on the page. I picked them out of the trash <laughs> and I thought well, that would be interesting. <clears throat> and then uh, this I cut out. She was just like that and I cut her out. I kind of wish I had cut her the shape of her legs but I left a margin around everything so her legs are kind of like blob. <laughs> and then this, this is, I did not watercolor this. This I bought this paper. Um, and just a, sc a scrap. You are just my type. I have an old car, um, just some random things. And then I, I, I bought some, what is it, um, I, some paints and I, I was going to, you know, I got, I got the, this printed paper but then on the back they're just plain white so I was going to paint some up. I, I only got one done and it doesn't have to be anything special because you're covering it up. So this is a lady out of a magazine. I added this. I'm glad to be getting rid of that. And this. This was off, I think, some uh, American Girl scrapbook paper that I had for years. Put a bicycle sticker on there. And just some stickers. Just added some random things. A square. Um, <coughs> this is a roof. I don't know what it's from. <laughs> that was all that was in the magazine. I just thought it had some character, so I saved it. And then these are the Seedly Posturepedic sheep. I put them on top of the roof and some banners and this card from um, um, I get my stuff a lot of my stuff from scrapbooking for less they have really good deals and I think there was like six of these on a sheet and you'd cut them up and they come on I, I get a lot of 12 by 12 sheets with a lot of different size cards and then I cut them up and I get a lot of bang for my buck that way um, this is out of a magazine that this no wait a minute that's part of the 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 house had this sky background anyway so still using my spatter paper here uh, this cute swing the mom and daughter on the swing 
uh, boarding pass. Uh, that's some ephemera from Scrapbooking for Less. Uh, I got this. The things you see you see in a magazine, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Uh, but I, they look interesting and I'll save them. Um, and I like to, really love to cut out landscapes. Here's some flower tulips. Um, just added some butterflies. I like adding in landscapes and animals and people. And here's a dog. I'm pretty sure it's from a dog food ad. Um, and I had some scraps and I sometimes I'll take a bunch of scraps. You see they're, they're mismatched. And I just glue them randomly onto a page. And then I glue stuff on top of them, and there's an, a, a background. And um, I didn't, I just put a roll across the top and wherever it worked out. And that left the bottom white. And this is a used piece of paper. This is page three of three. Left that on there, whatever. Uh, a sticker, a card, a flower, birds. I, I, get, I like Birds and Blooms magazine, and I cut the, out the birds and flowers and. Then this, um, I just, this is a calendar page <laughs> with a big butterfly. And then this is a, a calendar. I got this from um, Tuesday morning a few, a couple years ago. Um, it's a Barbie on every page and um, her, her purse was over here and I cut it out and I, I cut it right here so that I could slip it on her arm and, and put that there. It matches her coat. Uh, and then this is a picture of an old, the side of a magazine or something, an old car in front of a house. And this is a, an embellishment that I made. And I just added girl. And then those things I get from hobby, or f from uh, scrapbooking for less, the cards, sometimes they have these big ones. And I also scrapbook, but... I don't know how I would ever use this on a scrapbook page because I only do eight and a half by eleven scrapbook pages too. I don't do the twelve by twelve, so I would never use that. But so I try to get those used up on my on my um, glue books. This is a guy with two dogs from a dog food ad. Um, and just some random stuff. Again, my splattered watercolor paper and and. Uh, Usually you'll get a lot more color on one side than the other. There's, it just soaked through a little bit here, but this is really the color. And there was a lot of green in it, so um, I w I've cut this out a while back. It's a little cluster of of like gardening stuff. And then I got these two ladies because I like, got green in their dress, and I uh, kind of went with green for this page. Just added some green stuff. This is out of Birds and Blooms. And then this page. Um, I have tons of these strips of paper and I like to find ways to use them so I I just glued a bunch of strips of paper for the background and then I got this picture of again from uh, well I like I they like the scenery so I cut put that there this is from a greeting card a butterfly and a bird and beautiful and then this and I think that really looks good together and I need to glue this back on. I have little problems with, with the folds. Um, so I got a porch with a chair on it and these two cars. I bought a, a thick book of a big like sofa size book of all these cars through the years. Um, American cars, Ford, Chevy, Buick, all kinds of them. And I really like these really old ones. So I've used two of those on this page and just some random stuff. And then here's another page where I glued a bunch of scraps onto a sheet and then I put it aside and then when I, I just pulled it to add this. And I started out with this and I thought, well, I'm going to go with nautical stuff. And I, this is a greeting card. Um, here's a little girl on the beach with a sand castle. These are pillows. Um, I cut these out of a magazine years ago. What are you going to do with them? They're not really good for a scrapbook page. I don't go to the ocean much. Uh, so there you go. And then I, I made this... Again, those cards that you cut from the sheets from Scrapbooking for Less. And I like to make them my own. And then, so I just stuck that on the page because it's blue. Added a seashell. Now this was out of that, that car book, I think. I think it was. And it was bigger and I cut it down to 8.5 by 11. This is a whole sheet. 
and I just added a turtle and some grass and um, just some random things right here to make it my own and and I really like that and then here's the splatter you get some really good stuff sometimes look at those colors um, so I got a, a street scene here and this lady sitting in her chair and this is a card and sticker and a clothing tag I need to use my clothing tags more um, my daughter saves them for me. I've got her train. I've got all of these and I hardly ever use them. Because I, mostly I make Victorian books and these are not Victorian. So ran, I do a random book once in a while just to use up my stuff. Um, but in, And it's fun. So we just added some stuff to that page. And then this page, um, I have a Woman's Home Companion, August 1940. It's it's right here. <laughs> I've been cutting it up and tearing out pages. I really need to harvest it. Just cut it up and save what I want and throw away the rest. But I got this picture out of there. I thought, well, that looks interesting. And they're at the lake and I got the boat. So I thought, oh, I'm going to make it kind of nautical. So I added a duck. Uh, I like adding birds, but ducks are not at the top of my list. But there's a good opportunity. And then just some circles and squares and scrap of paper and a map and, and this is from a greeting card and it looks okay and then it was 4th of July so I was kind of inspired I've got some red white and blue American stuff that I've gotten out of magazines use them up use them up so this is a, was a full page magazine page um, well not quite full page and then I I filled in the space with this scrap of paper and added American as apple pie and then a scrap of uh, a circle. Um, this is my stamp. <laughs> I have some little tiny ones, but this is my only really nice one. And I got it half price. And I think I need to get some more. And I cut this this circle with it. And I've got some scraps. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some some newsprint, like magazine print out of, you know, and make some circles with that. Um, and then then this is uh, Boyd's bear and I cut that out and I put it on a tag. I love making tags and and I don't do a lot of 4th of July scrapbook pages so I gotta use up this stuff and then here's more just random American things um, what can I say and I just use solid red paper as a background this was out of the newspaper or maybe a magazine um, and here's the Mount Rushmore just random things and then one more I did four pages um, a house with a flag and this flag and this this doll and and I just and I had a lot of stickers and I just did a snicker, sticker sneeze on it okay then I got this lady and and like um, I use my scraps and I glue them on a paper to as a base sometimes so I got a lot of black and white scraps and I glued them on here in strips then added this I thought red goes good with the black and, and her pants black and red so I got some red flowers and and her and added some red embellishments and red and I think it looks pretty good this out of birds and blooms this is out of a, a pet store ad I guess pet supplies I don't even know what store it was pet smart or pet go I don't know um, a tag um, and I had a bunch of these little scraps from my previous projects cutting things to fit and I literally just picked them up off my desk and glued them on there they, they were accumulating and hey just use them up <laughs> so that was good and then um, I think I started out with this picture here. I'm going to make a page with this picture right here. This is out of uh, this I printed from Pinterest or somewhere. I, I liked it and I printed it. And honestly, I wish I could just print all day long. They have so many beautiful images, and you can print them. Um, I I print this size nine on a page, and I print this size four on a page and you I could just print stuff all day long there's so many cool things but you know ink is expensive um, I printed this I actually printed those two and, and this is from a, an old scrapbook page I did years and years ago and I redid the page so that I saved it so we got a coke page 
and then this was from a greeting card and I used a piece of print scrapbook paper as a background and I added a scrap and a card lucky that's a good name for the dog lucky and a scrap here with some flowers and and this is a frame I I don't use these frames as frames and I just put the and on there just for interest and a tag and this this A3 it's kind of thick like I found it in the washing machine. <laughs> I think it came off of my husband's jeans or something. I thought, well, that looks kind of interesting. I'm going to put that on a glue book page. And stickers. This I cut out of that 1940 magazine. And I added a tree. And it's got, there's a rainbow here and a, and a, a bird. I actually found a book. It's this size. of. There's a picture of a bird on every page. With Well, one, one page is writing about the bird and then the bird... Uh, so there was a bird on every page, basically, and I just added that and and this I don't know what I would have ever done with that. That's like a border, and I have a lot of these little circles, and and I got a lot of little flowers too, and I I'm trying to use up some of them, so I just sp spread some around there, use them up, and then this one I. I cut this out of a magazine. It's just a cute picture. Kids walking through a museum with a cow. I think it might have been a milk ad or something for all I know. Uh, and then I added this and a car. Just, this is just totally random, this page. And it's on a um, watercolored background. And a clothing tag. And just random stuff. I used up some of my flower stickers and a bee. And, and, and I put some here. Just used up some stuff. And then I've got this picture. Um, it was square. I didn't fussy cut it. Um, I don't know if it's from a cartoon or what, but I just think it's kind of cute. So I saved it and put that on there. And then I, random, 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 uh, grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Hello World. I think Hello World looks good with them. And then a T-Rex. I think that looks really good. The T-Rex is eating a grilled cheese sandwich. I added a circle and a couple of stickers. Um... This is also the watercolor paper. We I think we pretty much like color the whole page. Now this is a little poster of uh, Stuart little Stuart little mouse, and I just made a scrapbook page out of it. And again, I'm trying to use up all of these little things, and so I just made a little cluster up there. The this sticker less work more play. What would I ever do with that? I think it looks cute there. And then um. I just added a background, a scenery, and some flowers behind her. Um, she is cut out, fussy cut her legs and glued her on. Added this little chair with flowers on it. And this, this chair uh, in the garden. Added a bird and imagine. Now this one I did not, I did not paint this orange background. I cut this out of a newspaper story. And I liked it. <laughs> So, so I started with that, and then I added some scrapbook paper and this card and camera and my little circles, and just added a bunch of little things. This one, um, I got the lady here, and I got a flowery background, and put that on there, and I added this this cute little um, mouse, and I used a big circle. I have a lot of circles I'm trying to use up and tickets. I have a lot of tickets. I have a lot of stamps. Now this one I thought I'd go for a manly page. Um, I, first thing I grabbed was this car and, and another one of them sheets of paper with that I glued scraps onto. And um, this is Tim Holtz. He, he's not Tim Holtz but he's, it's a t he, I got a several of, of his characters. Um, and I think he looked really good with that car. And then I just added some miscellaneous blue stuff in this, this ad for a Friction Auto toy car for 59 cents. Okay, this one. Um, this is another of from that Barbie calendar cutter out. And I added this, this scrap of paper on the back and some, some scene, some landscaping and a dog. <laughs> and then a, a vintage style ad. Uh, I think it looks good. Just, this is more random, but it looks, I like it. And this one I kind of like. Um, 
a, the lady in a, sitting in, in the back of a pickup truck. And I had the, this is from a calendar also. So I put the horses there. She's out in the country. Sometimes I make the pages all kind of blend together. And other times I make them totally random. Not, it has nothing to do with anything. Uh, I added these circles. I, did, I used up a lot of little doodads. Uh, and then this is a little scenery of a of, uh, of windmill. Um, I, sometimes I like to take small pictures of magazines and put them on a piece of uh, colored paper. Glue them to colored scrap paper. And then, then use my deck by fancy scissors and cut them a little frame. And, and I have those for my glue book pages. Uh, just like I did here too. <laughs> Um, this is some really pretty scrapbook paper. It's just beautiful. Uh, and then I have, I did an entire book, 50 pages of Holly Hobby because, oh, it was 1977. I was 18. <laughs> got my first apartment. I got a Holly Hobby calendar and for about seven or eight years, I bought another Holly Hobby calendar every year. And, and I never threw them away. And now... I have cut them up and made them into glue books instead of just some useless old calendars sitting around. They're part of beautiful artwork. Uh, well, so then I just added a butterfly and a pretty little garden scene and, and used up a lot of little stickers, little flower stickers, and there you go. Um, this was out of a magazine page. This It was a tea bag ad and, and baskets of fruit. and. And I added this this lady and some stickers and I cut this out of a magazine and I cut this out of a magazine. I used up a lot of little little things on here. Now I am in three glue book page groups. I don't run any group glue book pages, but uh, one of them is mixed media glue book pages and art. It's something like that. And um, I've got so much stuff. I just do my own thing. They have they have challenges. Um, this was called the scavenger hunt hunt thing. Um, the other one had one, another one. Glue, vintage glue book pages. They do um, um, challenges or something like that. And I've never done one. Cause, but I they, the I, so I finally did one. Um, it was tissue paper. I got this printed tissue paper. I just tore off a scrap of it and glued it on. This is an ad. You had to have an ad, which I got out of my 1940 magazine. Um, a bling. This is a big old diamond cut out of a magazine. Something with tea. This is an actual tea bag holder. Um, and a tag. Um, now I love making these these tags. I, I I have made hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of these, and I decorate my scrapbook pages with them. Um, these have some buttons glued on them. I like to add little things like that on them. I don't love putting them in my glue books. Uh, in my my scrapbook pages have page protectors, but and they're fine. But I'm not comfortable with these loose, you know, because I'm not going to put these in scrap in page protectors. So I don't use a lot of those, but okay, so I, I use this ta tick tag, and then I go I went ahead and threw on a clothing tag as well. It just said tag, didn't say what kind of tag, and they really liked it. I posted it. Okay, so then this one I just added these girls. Oh, I had a part of a magazine page, a lady's hair. <laughs> I think the lady was next to it, and it was. Um, I don't know. I think maybe it was a full page page ad of the lady's head with a lot of hair, and then it came over onto this next page. So when I was cutting it up, I have the lady, but then I got all this hair. So I saved that for a background. Uh, this is some scrap. No, this is some um, out of cut out of a magazine. This is out of a magazine. When I see these textures, um, not they're smooth, but you know, just prints and magazines. I'll cut them out. And then here's a cat. And um, this is, I printed this off Pinterest. This is from a greeting card. This is out of a magazine. And I just added some circles. And, and I put, a, there was some writing on, uh, this was from a cat food ad or something. And there was a little bit of writing on the corner of the ear, her, the ear so I added a bug. And then when I was flipping through just a little while ago, I see that there's a sticker right there. And I'm just going to leave it. Um, 
this one um, I started out with this piece of paper it, it had this print on it this is the kind of paper you would buy to print up news letters or invitations or something uh, and I glued this lady on and I used my paint pens and I decorated her shirt because it was just solid white and then I had these dogs I put those on um, I just added hello I like using up my words and the stars I added some stars and just there you go this one I was looking through my my random stuff and here's all these prints and textures like I was talking about um, I cut those out here's some towels that's interesting colorful um, these there's some murals from the side of a building um, just and some needlework or something and some fabric and I just I've never done a page like this before and I, I, I like the results um, so just some random stuff I use up some more of my little circles this one I printed this and this from Pinterest this one I got a huge response from posting this in my glue book um, groups on Facebook um, they love this lady I found her on on Pinterest and printed her and then I had some milk and some cookies I cut out food from magazines sometimes and she's on a, a um, watercolor back paper um, like I said I wish I could just print stuff from to my heart's content from Pinterest but that ink is just too expensive so this is the back side of that um, uh, watercolor, I mean the front side, and, and look look how colorful it is. And then um, I started with this pillow, and I, then I think I picked this piece of paper to go on. The colors look really good. And then I found this, this wild looking picture. Some of the faces are covered up. Um, and then I had this scrap laying on my table, and I added this, and I, and I really liked the way it turned out. Used up a couple of my circles. This one uh, got a little whimsical. I added, I cut, had her cut out, and I had her sitting on a sandwich with a little jug of milk and a, one of my circles, and I added some stickers. And this is a piece of scrapbook paper. This one also got a big response, and all I did was cut this out of the, the um, Barbie cat calendar, and a lot of fussy cutting there. And this was separate and I overlapped it to fit it on the page but before I put it on I used my paint pens and just squirreled around and then I thought well, I'm gonna add some dots because she's got black I want some black on there because I picked up the the pink and the yellow and the red I need some black so I throw dots and then I thought wow she's a, like a seamstress a designer I should have done stitches so I I drew some stitches across the top and the bottom now this one, this is a greeting card, and honestly, she kind of creeps me out. I think that's kind of creepy looking, <laughs> but it's really colorful, and I, I, I do like it. Um, so I made this one really colorful. This this was my beginning thing, and then I had this little cluster of of uh, colorful paper clips, and I didn't even notice it until I glued it on the page that it's like somebody with their thumbs up. It's a hand. You see, can you see the hand? There's one, two, three, four fingers and the thumb. It's a hand, thumbs up hand. Uh, this is one of my embellishments I've made. And this is some textured paper or, or print paper from a magazine. I just heard my daughter burp. And then I added this pillow. Okay, this one, here's another man's page that I made. I, I saw this in my stuff that I had saved. I thought that would work, look really good with one of my cars and one of my Tim Holtz guys and then I added this camera and it's pr pr just pretty simple just a few little items and, and I, I like the way I like I prefer more colorful stuff but this really turned out nice and the colors the colors what little color there is just really goes good together now this is um I picked this brochure up at Brass Armadillo Antiques I, I love going there and buying stuff and it, there was a map on the back and I, I just took add interest I put that on there uh, little, this is something I bought and, and this is out of a magazine and I had some circles and a lamp and a bird cage and, and the stamp and, and I, I like that page and this is uh, tea dyed I tea dyed some paper I, I believe it's um, computer paper tea dyed computer paper I could be wrong
I think it is. Okay, so this is out of Birds and Blooms. There was some writing up in the corner, so I put the sticker on. This is an embellishment that I made, and I added a dog. I like to add dogs. It just brings some joy to the page. And just some random things here. And then um, this lady I cut out. Um, and Oh, here's another one page where I had glued some scraps. And then I... I have several of these. I bought some Mickey Mouse calendars several years ago and every page had these flowers on them. So I've got a lot of those cut out. Yeah, I used them up. And I added my circles. Just kind of simple. And the last page. Um, this is um, almost a full page magazine page with this. Um, I think it's an ad for shaving. <laughs> and then the, at the end you get almost nothing left. See it gets smaller and smaller and smaller from shaving different sides. Anyway, so I added this print from a magazine and a boots and a cat and then got whiskers and, and that's that. And then this is just a piece of scrapbook paper and now I kind of wish I had picked up something a little thicker. But it is what it is and another book done. I've, so I've, this is my 19th magazine type. And then I've got two uh, old scrapbooks with the black pages. Remember the really old ones with the black pages that I've totally filled in. And the pages are like 11 by 16. And those are my two of my Victorian books. So the 21 books I've got done. And uh, on to my next one. I haven't quite decided what the subject's going to be. I really enjoyed the randomness. I could do another one of those. I have tons and tons of Victorian stuff. I could do that again. Uh, we'll see. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.